I refund it. Just like anybody else that asked for a refund and they were given their refund, it can be refunded. You can have a refund. You can have a refund if you- Hey y'all, welcome back. We are in part three of Misinformation Cronies. Refund status denied. If you're new to my channel, welcome. We are talking about the Marvon McCray story and how we got to this point where it seems like there's more misinformation online about this story than there is factual information. Just a brief introduction. If you're just picking up here, Marvon McCray is a 29-year-old Marine veteran from Yuma, Arizona. On May 23rd, there was an alleged incident in which he is subsequently left in a coma. He is currently in a coma in Tucson, Arizona. This story blew up on social media almost overnight. Marvon is married to Dre McCray, Slay with Dre McCray from social media. She has quite a large following over multiple platforms on social media and has been in the influencer world since 2017. Because of her large following, there is, of course, people who were not pleased with how she was behaving after Marvon was in a coma. So they started asking questions, which Dre started blocking people. So a bunch of these women got together with the biologic family of Marvon McRae and formed these Facebook groups to find out more information of what truly was going on and how Marvon ended up in a coma. At least, that's what we thought the original plan was. They said this was for justice for Marvon. Yet, here we are almost 12 weeks later after the incident, and we are in a worse spot now seeking justice for Marvon than we ever have been. And if you're curious as to why that is my opinion, if you watch the videos that I've done on this story up to this point, you will understand that this story has been built off of misinformation. The one thing that has been consistent in this story is the lack of information or the amount of misinformation put out by exclusive creators in contact with the family. As you heard at the beginning of the video, Letitia herself stated that refunds would be approved if asked for. But if you've been following along, you saw my previous video and you know that when a refund was asked for, it was denied not only denied but then the person was blocked again we don't know if there was parameters set in regards to their refund approvals or anything marissa and Letitia spoke about this the other night on live and it never got followed up or actual correct information put to the public again not suggesting anybody ask for a refund i'm just giving you the facts you've got to do what's best for you as you see, this donator sent a pretty large sum of money on July 6th to Letitia Bias. At the time, they were using multiple payment forms for donations, including a GoFundMe account also. This was all done through Cash App. This transaction was Cash App only. I know that's been confusing people somehow, but it's Cash App. This donator reached out to Mrs. Bias on July 8th and said, Hey, Miss Bias, I'm so sorry for what you're going through. It's definitely not fair, but I want you to know there are many people standing with you. Do you have a place to stay while you're visiting? To which Letitia, a couple days later, replies, I'm home now to get some documents, but I can contact you when I get back. The donator says, I sent you blank amount yesterday. Letitia responds, thank you so much. Donator says, no problem, just making sure you got it. Letitia says, God bless you. Donator says, so many fake accounts. I pray you're hanging in there. Letitia states, yes, you see how evil people are. She said, yes, you have an army behind you. Letitia states, I'm trying, just heartbroken. Donator follows up and says, I know you are. I can't imagine what you're going through. Sounds like he was going through hell with her and wanted out. Letitia does not respond at that point in time. And then later on, 3.56 p.m., the donator asks, how much have you received? Now, you might ask, why would the donator ask how much she has received? There had been much, much conversation about transparency and that Letitia would have no problem showing receipts. Admins for the groups kept telling people that this donator actually reached out to one of the creators of the group. You will see above what her response was. This wasn't just a one person issue. There was multiple people having these same questions and concerns. This person just happened to 
take screenshots, and send them to me. So here we are. After trying to resolve this issue by taking multiple different avenues, the donator reached out to Letitia once again on July 30th. The message states, Letitia, I requested a refund of the $500 I sent you on July 6, 2022, and you have refused to respond to my request. Please know that I reported you to Cash App for fraud slash scam. I also plan to file with my bank's fraud department on Monday as well as file a police report with my local police department to forward to detective in Savannah if you do not refund my money ASAP. Signed, Donator. To which the teacher responds, Ma'am, if you donated to me, what was it for? Donator responds, I did donate to you, 500. It was justice for Vaughn. I plan to file a police report on Monday. To which Leticia says, okay, the just for Vaughn was for a lawyer, right? To which the donator responds with, and with my fraud department too. No, justice for Vaughn. What have you done to get justice? I'm telling you, refund my money or I will be filing a police report to file with your detectives. You are a scammer and a fraud. I sent 500, just send it back. And with that message, the donator was blocked. We have been talking about the Facebook groups and the admins from the Facebook groups speaking for or on behalf of Letitia Bias. People have continued to pass a narrative that has been incorrect. People keep saying nobody is speaking for Letitia except Letitia. The admins have nothing to do with any of this stuff. Yet, the admins do have a lot to do with things that are going on. They were acting on behalf of Letitia, communicating with followers, donators alike. The reason why is because they all have a chat with Letitia. And yes, obviously, one of the admins and the creator is no longer a part of this and has said, enough is enough, it's time to be transparent. That is how we are here. And this isn't the first time she has gone to these girls with concerns of her own or Letitia on her own and been ignored. This admin had been trained to ask questions and seek transparency yet she too was ignored. You can see at the top of the screen, this chat is Gigi, Tony, and Letitia. Obviously there was another admin in there before. That's not the case any longer. It starts with Letitia on July 30th, sending a screenshot of the message she had gotten from the donator that we just gone over. Letitia states, I asked her what was her donation for, she hasn't responded yet, but if you say lawyer, money was spent on a lawyer, which means I didn't do what you're accusing me for. And yes, I made the screenshot that she had sent bigger so you guys can all see. I'm not trying to hide something. This is just being transparent. Yes, these messages are from one sole admin who is no longer associated with the group, yet I'm sure the others have many things that they would like to try and say to you. I do know and have seen that this admin had been asking for, for clarification after she realized the refunds they said would be approved were being denied. Tony responds to Letitia and says, I would speak with your lawyer about it. I don't think she can legally do anything. It was a donation. Or call your local police department and explain the situation. Letitia says, I don't mind showing her the proof, but the threats need to stop. Tony says, I agree. People believe everything they read on the internet these days. Letitia says, now I'm being bullied and harassed, to which this admin says, OMG. In enters Fifi, I mean Gigi. Honestly, Letitia Bias, I would just block her and report her for harassment at this point. She needs to report it like everyone else did and handle it as she needs to. Tony says, I know it's hard. Just try to stay positive knowing you haven't done a thing wrong. Only God can judge you. Gigi replies, you can give her that money back and she can say she didn't get it. I wouldn't trust anything about her, especially how crazy she acts. You think a damn detective going to go looking for people about a cash app? She's fucking stupid. Go report it, lady, to your bank. They are going to laugh her because the first thing they will say is, what are you donating for? And then they are going to say, prove that she scammed you. Gigi... Didn't you guys make a post about CPS and authorities being in your Facebook group? Am I mistaken on that? Hmm. Captain save a ho to the rescue again. I can't believe after all this time she's still going and she's full of shit. Good thing we have the first cash app post for her detective. Gigi drops the first post on July 4th that Letitia Bias made with her cash app. Like boom bitches, 
yeah, we were asking for donations all the way back on July 4th. What are you going to say about it? Here you can see the second part of the donator's message to Letitia. Tony replies to Gigi, I also have the messages saying she didn't want her money back. Letitia interjects, okay, we can roast her ass because she's been harassing me from the beginning. Excuse my language. Tony comes in dropping it like it's hot with a screenshot of her in the donator's conversation from July 10th. July 10th, Tony. That's 20 days earlier. A lot has changed in 20 days, and people have found out that a lot of misinformation has been intentionally laid through this case. And stuff that you guys have done has misled many people. Gigi responds to Tony's screenshot. I'm sure she will message one of us. We don't have a problem letting Blank back in the group or talking to us, but she needs to change her tone and accusations. At this point, it's harassment, and we need to... We need her detective to help us. Laughing face, laughing face. Everything needs to be handled the right way. Like, we can't trust people at this point. Here's a better view of the message between the donator and Tony back on July 10th. Remember, 20 days, 20 days previous to this. Letitia responds to Gigi. As you can see, I didn't say anything out of the way to her. She threatened me with the police. Tony says, I honestly don't think there's anything she can do. No one lied to her. Letitia says, okay. Later on in the conversation, this admin says, Letitia, most of those people commenting don't agree with what she's doing. Don't let her tear you down. And I'm assuming this was in regards to a certain creator. To which Letitia replies, okay, since everyone think I'm a fraud, do I need to post the receipt from the first lawyer? Because I have to have a total of three lawyers to get this done. Number one, lawyer I'm paying for now is for visitation rights, which I got POA over Marvon, temporary garden o guardian over Therese. Number two, lawyer defense prosecution attorney to fight legal actions against her. Number three, lawyer for lawsuit against Yuma Police Department. Need I say more? GV responds, if you do, I'm just saying you will never stop having to do this back and forth. Even if you post it to our page, she will keep going. We were thinking she's getting more mad that we are not acknowledging her. Meanwhile, once again, the sole focus of theirs is on a certain creator because they can't get her to stop being a thorn in their side. The problem is, is there's been a lot of miscommunication from multiple angles in this story throughout. Now the admins are starting to come forward and talk about what actually was going on and being said in the inbox. Yes, there was concerns addressed and brought to Letitia. She had multiple opportunities to provide any type of proof she wanted to to shut this whole thing down. And those of you that know my page or are familiar with me, I wouldn't be stating that if I didn't have proof that these conversations existed with admins and Letitia multiple times about all of the rumors circulating online. There is literally so much information to get through and lies to be constructed that it is taking a lot longer than I wished it was. It would be so easy if I could just, like, here it all is. Wake up. This is what it is. This is what it isn't. They've been lying to you all, all along. Yeah, I wish I could, but it's not that easy, and people are still refusing to believe the truth and the facts. It's easier to say that I am somebody I'm not than it is to believe that this entire story was based off lies and has been repeated lies throughout to get us to this point. So now you've seen how Molly reacts when people ask about the donations or potentially a refund. And now you see how Letitia and the admins react when this discussion is had. I'm left with a burning question again in this case. Wouldn't this have been easier to solve by showing proof that you said you could provide numerous times. Wouldn't that have been easier and squash the entire thing? Wouldn't that have handled the situation and shut it down? You know, everyone I have talked to said that if you would have showed or provided any transparency, they would have never asked for their donations to be refunded. Not a single one of them would have if there would have been transparency from the start which there never was. And people have been more than patient with the excuses and the lies that are being told to them. Just remember that you too can join the misinformation cronies for the low cost of selling your soul and lying 
on the internet to everyone. Remember, MGL and Letitia have stated that if you're going to ask for a refund, you're going to get roasted. And what else did Molly say? Anybody remember? Yeah, she said all that. And I'm sure much more. Please be careful who you trust and believe out here with your money. Please understand that a lot of these people have not had anybody's interests in mind except their own personal interest throughout. This was never started for justice for Marvon. This was seeking revenge against Dre. And yes, there will be a lot more information coming out over the next couple days. There needs to be transparency once and for all. We've been demanding transparency and being ignored. Not anymore. Once again, thank you all for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking my videos. I appreciate you all so much. I can't even explain. Thanks again.